Hello everyone, uh, we'll start this module uh, with the history of uh, University of California, uh, our UC system, and this information as you can see on the top, I took it from ucop.edu, uh, which is actually UC's website. So it you know, tells you that in 1855, um, the f oldest UC was in Berkeley, UC Berkeley is our oldest UC, and um, how you know this um, basically all this started falling into place which colleges they were opened first and um, then we'll get into how much actually they used to charge and you will be shocked to hear that um, UC system um, started in 1869 with 10 faculty members and 38 student uh, today which is act this report is actually almost one year old or more than year old and they had 190,000 faculty members after um, almost like, you know, 150 years. So it grew from 10 faculty members to 190,000 faculty members and um, more than 1.7 million alumni living and working around the world. Okay, so UC system, um, there actually the education was completely free for many many decades and we'll get into that too um, and this you see um, you know this is again from the same website they talk about w what's the profile of the students and what percentage of them actually they live and work in California where are they coming from um, you it's uh, around by the I think until 1970s for almost 100 year UC was a free education system and then even after that the fees were very minimal so this is another very good article I got it from dailycal.org which you can read more about it it talks about how much initially the fees were and how you know they were you know the fees went up eventually gradually um, 1868 the first UC's 1956 the fee was $84 per year and for non-residents is $300 per year in 1956 um, then 1974 the state was funding approximately 32 percent of the UC budget and then in 95-96 for the UC undergraduate the fee was $4,300 and for non-resident UC undergraduate uh, was $12,000 so I think the ratio is still ballpark same three times more um, and you can read more about it you know it a lot of detail which year how the fees went up uh, when they had the um, hikes and all that then 2013 uh, 12 13 period uh, they're saying the tuition is now the largest single source of core operating funds students contribute 3 billion in tuition and fees versus the 2.38 billion the state contributes so in 2012 13 the state was contributing 2.38 billion and uh, students were bringing in 3 billion and these are only tuitions and fees not uh, you know the other expenses or their budget which we'll get into a different module um, and then also to let you know that UC's also in it's these fees which we they uh, you know report on their websites those are the basic undergrad or fees or graduate fees for certain majors they also have supplemental fees they call them professional uh, you know supplement charges which also you can read uh, which could be quite a bit like on you know for example nursing schools or other where they have additional professional fees like graduate professional fees uh, non-resident supplement tuition fee we, again you know this is directly coming from UCOP UC websites and you can uh, read more about and these are not in all majors these uh, supplemental fees so there are some examples they talk about uh, you know the professional degree supplemental fees like it's applying to architecture 
biomedical biotechnology business civil engineering not not applicable okay so dental hygiene so these are additional fees which you see charge um, okay for similar slide you know professional degree supplemental tuition fee for non residents and previous slide was for residents uh, again you can get more information um, these are you know tuition fees without health insurance with, with not getting health insurance again you can read more about online um, because we're not only talking about always tuitions there are many other supplemental fees which students have to pay um, okay so then this talks about the freshman admission rate by campus and residency this is like the gist of the problem um, how many you know at um, total university wide what percentage is from California what percentage out of state uh, I mean this slide actually is showing you their admit rate this is not the number percentage of the student these are the admission rates um, obviously as you can see the international six students there 62 percent of them got admitted uh, how many you know applications versus and the out-of-state 50 percent California these are 2015 numbers and th again these are not these are the aggregate numbers these are not we're not talking about any specific major or something so and the rate varies um, the um, highly desirable universities like you know Los Angeles um, more and more students are applying so the percentage acceptance rate is very low much lower if you look at that um, so in general the percentage acceptance rate for international students let's look at uh, overall yeah overall it went up 2015 2016 2017 you can you know read more uh, so we'll move fast then these are freshman admission rates um, again uh, different percentages uh, for different campuses um, this article I got from Pew Research Center uh, which talks about that the f percentage of foreign students after you know the Great Recession has been steadily steadily going up since 2008 um, and this talks about uh, 364 foreign student F1 visas newly enrolled in 2016 alone and you know we'll, we're gonna get a lot more you know detail into this so let's just keep moving um, from 2008 to 2016 the number of new foreign students at US, US colleges and universities increased by 104 percent and this is all over the US okay so this is the you know the best actually um, website where I'm getting all the information this is called University of California dot edu slash info center so you can just google it UC info center and um, in this one basically there are all kinds of options available you can uh, sort the data by the you know the type of degree the major campus year overall and very nice graphs along the side um, so let's look at uh, in undergraduate in 2016 um, we had 83 percent of California residents in all UC campuses so there was total undergraduate enrollment was 210,000 and 83 percent were um, California resident but the you know the word California resident is very tricky word because California resident does not mean they're all US citizens or legal permanent residents so that doesn't mean that uh, there are many other categories which can qualify under California residents which we will talk in another module um, you know like um, children of people who are here on work permit or DACA or many other categories or many other visa categories we'll talk where parents are if a parent sees a parents are here on OPT or student visa or some business visa 
a um, lot of these categories they end up actually qualifying under California residents so if you l delete those categories then the percentage of international students or illegal students or Dhaka or all these visa categories you combine and then you put them against US citizens and legal permanent residents then the percentage of international or you know immigrant students basically at UCs is a lot higher so let's keep moving um, so 2016 um, in 2008 in previous slide you saw that we had 3% international students and then 12% international students in 2016 again these international students are who are directly coming from other countries these are not qualifying under California residents so these are the freshmen and you can see very clearly on the graph the number is going up um, and then you know the gains are basically happening uh, in Hispanic and Latino but the percentage of white uh, you know students are drastically going down uh, and that's where you know mo majority of the international gains are coming up even the Hispanic uh, or Asian population is pretty flat actually but Hispanic percentage is going up and then the slide also has additional you can go to that website it tells you which are the top countries who are sending undergrad students and for purpose of this study we are limiting ourselves to undergrad uh, because at the graduate level it's a very different game uh, the percentage of international student is uh, exponentially or astronomically higher um, there are certain majors where you don't even find any uh, California resident there are